one of the opening sequences is Prabh Jyoti. He beats on the nagara and then he starts playing on the tabla. And then you have Kirpal Singh Panesar come in on the esraj. And Joe then narrates a poem called The Gift of India. Is there aught you need that my hands withhold? Rich gifts of raiment, or grain, or gold? Lo, I have flung to the east and the west. I was looking at a number of images of Sikh soldiers in the First World War. There was something about the self-containedness, the dignity of the soldiers that struck me quite forcibly. I wonder what role the Shabads had in, in infusing them with fortitude and courage to face the First World War in countries that they had no experience of, in climates that they had no experience of. I discovered a number of folk songs from the First World War, notably of women singing about the war. And they had a very different take on the war. They didn't understand why their men had to fight in a war that was not exactly their war. And those songs were pain of grief, of loss and anger. We thought it would be an interesting thing to mingle the two and to also have elements of spoken word with the Shabads and with images. I love my son. Now that he's gone, I cannot even eat. Death be upon Khalila, that police chief that took away my son. The dominant emotion in terms of audience responses is that they were very moved. And by this, I include Sikhs as well as non-Sikhs, because some of the elements have startled them, some of the images have startled them, some of the statistics have surprised them. Hallelujah. 